Okay, so now you are basically adding masters and know all you're adding up to 10. So we are gonna make it a little trickier today. Um, we're gonna use our cards again. And I hope you saved this from the other day. We're going to use our adding to 10 rainbow. If you did not save your rainbow, what I will do is I will, before we start the game, I'll put a little picture of it on the video. And if you need to, just pause and draw yourself a new one, okay? Um, otherwise, you should be good to go. All you need for this is a deck of cards and you're adding rainbow. And we're going to make this a little bit trickier. This game is called Pyramid. So in Pyramid, the last time we played our adding game, we set up our cards in a square, but this time we're gonna set it up in like a triangle, like a pyramid. And there are a few different rules to how you're allowed to take your cards off the pyramid and the order which you do it in. So we are going to start with sorting our cards. So again, just like last time, you do not need your face cards. So any ones like this, your queen, your king, your joker, your jack, you don't need those cards, but you do need your ace. Just like last time, I'm just looking for one to show you because that's gonna be our number one, okay? So what I would like you to do is to go ahead right now and sort your cards into two piles, get rid of your face cards and keep your ace and all your number cards. And then we will get ready to play. So if you need to pause right now to sort your cards, you can give it a pause and then we will keep going. Okay. I have got my two sets of cards. I have my face cards over here. I do not need these cards. I am going to get rid of them. So they're out of the way. Now I have my adding rainbow so I know, and I have all my other cards, my number cards plus my aces. Now a good idea would be to shuffle them. You could ask an adult to help you do this job um, if you like to shuffle like that. Or what my girls like to do to shuffle is they like to like mix them up on the bed like this and mix them all up so they're all shuffled and then put them back together again so you can do either way i think my girls just like mixing them up because it's fun to push them all around and make a little bit of a mess okay so i'm going to shuffle my cards and now remember i said this game is called pyramid because we are going to make our cards in the shape of a pyramid last time also we only used 20 of these cards this time we're going to use all the rest of the cards in our stack and see how many combinations of 10 we can add up to. So this is how you lay your cards out. You start with one card at the top. I gotta see where I can put it so that you're able to see on the camera. Just a minute, I'm just gonna adjust. Okay, so you start with one card at the top and then on that one card, you're gonna put two cards like that. And make sure you can still see your one card at the top. Now for the next row, you're going to put three cards. You're going to put one on the side, one in the middle, one on the side. Uh oh, my cards are sliding a little bit, guys. Now on the next one, look at I had one card, two cards, three cards. How many cards do you think I'm going to put in my next row? I am going to put four. One, two, three, four. And then in my next row, I'm going to put five. One, two, three, four, five. And then in my last row, I'm going to put six. One, two, three, whoops, four, five, six. Okay, so now I have my pyramid set up and I have my deck of cards, which I keep like this face down, we say, so we can't see what numbers are there. We put them down. Now, what we want to do is we want to get rid of our whole pyramid, but I can actually only pick up cards on my pyramid if the whole card is showing. So this card is buried underneath my other cards 
I cannot pick that card yet. I can only pick a card if nothing else is touching it. So I can only pick these ones right now. But even if I take this one off, I can't take the card underneath yet because this card is still touching it. It has to be all the way uncovered to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is look in my first row. Do I have any matches that make 10? I can see one right away using my rainbow. I can see I have a one and a nine. And when I match it up here, my one and nine make 10. But look at, I have a nine here and I also have a nine here. So I need to decide which one I want to take. So I think I'm going to take this ace. Now, if I take this nine off, I could make 10. But look what happens if I take this nine off instead. If I take this nine off and I make 10, my next card is open so that I can use it. So I'm going to put this aside and look at this. I have a 10. And I don't need anything to match 10, so I'm going to take my 10 off. Now I have a 9, a 4, an 8, and a 7. Now, what do I need with my 4 in order to make 10? Let's, let's see on my little rainbow here. If I take my 4, I need a 6. Now look at this. There's a 6 underneath it. So if I pick up my 4... I can also pick up my six and make a match and put them off. Now I only have nine, four, eight, and seven. None of those go together to make 10. So I need to flip a card over. I got a three. Let's see what makes three on here. What do I need to match it with? Three and seven. Guess what? I've got a seven to match it with. I'm going to take it off. Okay, I don't have any more matches. I'm going to flip another card. I got a one. What did we say goes with a one to make 10? I think what goes with our one on our rainbow to make 10? A nine. I have a nine here. There we go. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to keep playing. I need to flip over a new card. Guess what? It's a 10. I just automatically get to keep that one. I got a one. Now, I don't have any nines to match it, so I'll leave this here and I'll flip a new card. This time I got a six. What did we say a six needs to match with? Yeah, it is a four. And guess what? I have a four showing. I can take it off and match it. Okay, I'm going to put some tunes on and we're going to play the rest of the game and I'll just show you how it finishes.
okay, I got all the way up to here. Now I have a three and I see a seven, but I can't take that seven because it's covered by my four. So I would have needed a six still, but I got pretty close. I was able to clear most of my pyramid except for two cards. So now when you guys play it, let me know how many cards you were able to clear it down to or try playing again and see if you can get even further down. Here's another interesting thing you could do here. If you're getting really fancy, maybe you know that a four needs to go with a six and maybe you see two threes. And if we count this all up, guess what it makes? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you could even add up three cards to make it to the number 10. But I thought since we are getting so good at all that adding that we are ready for a new challenge like pyramid because you have to decide which order you take those cards off in. Um, and sometimes if you take them off in the wrong order, your game might end sooner. And if you take them off in the right order, you might give yourself more moves. Have fun playing and happy adding, guys. See ya. Thank you.